picture. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I think she used this Alfredo sauce. Um, I feel like if you're doing the Alfredo sauce, you should forego butter. Yeah. Yeah, that seems like the appropriate thing. Because I feel like the purpose of butter is to do the creaminess with it. Uh, and if you're just using Alfredo sauce... Maybe, like, use some of the pasta water, too. Yes, it's another new place. This is indeed my place. It has not changed. If anything, I have a lot of tiny stress acne that is hidden under a bit of makeup. <laughs> that's, that's really what's going on with my face. Other things that are going on um, is my sweet baby boy. Look at my man. Look at you. Hey, big girl. Hey, girl. Good. Boy, good man. Oh, I love him. He's just a baby boy. Yes. This is my son, my child. Uh, the light of my life, the wind beneath my wings. Uh, the highlight of my existence. Your brother got a puppy? Dang, what kind? Try to think. This is, this is a Rhodesian Ridgeback. This is a Doberman puppy. Oh my god. I love Dobermans. I honestly, I love bigger dogs. Because then you can actually, like, pet them. <laughs> and not be afraid of their tiny little bones. Uh, and you can take them for really long walks and camping trips without fear of an eagle swooping down and, and snatching them up. Um, boy oh boy. Oh, he's good and chill. Oh good. That's how, that's honestly what you want in a puppy beyond anything. For them to be chill right out. That means that they'll be good. He'll, oh, his work is already scary. Well, he's a Doberman. It's kind of his job. Kind of what he's literally made for. Um, so that totally makes sense. Now, I'm wondering, for you guys, is my camera not matching my sound? Or is it totally fine? Because I feel like it might be a little bit off. I'll just, I'll just dance around. You'll tell me if it matches my words. The sync is a bit off. Oh, shit. See, I... Uh, Ugh, I'm gonna have to figure that out. Um, oof. There's no way for me to fix that right now. Shit. Um, yeah, it was like this. I did an interview yesterday, and it was like this at that time, too. Oh. See? That's crazy, because my, um, my, uh, is like all the way turned up on my mic. I don't have anything else on here. Let me see if my filters are. I do have noise suppression. Uh, well, I don't really want to remove the noise suppression. Makes me nervous. Let me try it. Let me try it. Okay, how about now? Is that better or worse? Or should I move my mic closer? If mic closer, then does work or am I actually just mumbling? Okay. Okay. Luckily, in post, I can just increase the volume. <laughs> um. I will put on noise filters because I live at my parents' house now. Pretty echoey? Okay. Okay, yeah. There we go. Well, we're going to do it then. Okay. Is that no more echo? That's the problem with a bare room with nothing in it and none of my cool items or anything. It's all in a storage facility. Far away from me. Oh my god. The move? The move was harrowing. Let me tell you. No more echo? Great. Woo! I'll, honestly, I'll take echo over um, anything else. Because, <laughs> like, at least at least during the stream, if you can't quite hear me, it, you could just wait two days until the VOD comes out on my YouTube. And then... It will be perfect because I will have edited it. 
Um, but yeah, oh my gosh. Okay, so besides my lovely dog and <laughs> it's very fun to say my lovely dog and this very bare room uh, containing my father's guitar collection and then a little bit of my stuff over here even off camera um, and then a bunch of my stuff over here that has yet to be packed away it has been it has not been fun guys I'm gonna be honest um, I talked about my grandmother before unfortunately she did pass away um, two Thursdays ago um, and that was not good, it was not enjoyable, as death often is not fun. Uh, I thought I had a lot more months of hanging out with her before moving to California, um, but she just had an accident, possibly caused by the home that she was put in, instead of into my care, just putting it out there, you know, we have just, uh, uh, yeah. The, apparently the health inspection people went by and graded it like only three levels above a median closure. Like it goes from A to J and it's a G. So yeah, they left her alone. She fell, hit her head and then had a brain bleed and two subsequent strokes and was not able to swallow or do anything. So that's how it really progressed very fast. Um, but the overall passing, in my opinion, was very calm and peaceful. Um, not for the rest of us <laughs> still here on this earth. Um, and then all of the ceremonies afterwards were gorgeous. She knows so many people. There were like at least a hundred people, if not more, at the funeral. So we just we just put it out on Facebook and like told uh, that people where to go. Uh, and a ton of people showed up. Um, I, well, the lingering did happen. It was about like three weeks of lingering, I'm not going to lie. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. Or, well, two weeks of lingering. Yeah. yeah. Two weeks of lingering. Um, not fun. Not enjoyable. Definitely not how I want to go at all. Uh, I would like it to be quick and painless in my sleep. Thank you very much. Um, when I'm 120. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not, that's not, I don't want to bring the mood down at all, even though at the same time I want to be honest with you as to why I've been away for a while, um, and how shitty and awful it's been, but I'm in a way glad that I now get to be here and get to stream again, uh, and get to do fun games, and if this interview that I did yesterday goes well, I'll be hearing back by the end of the week. I might actually have like a full-time job, which allows me to do more things with stream and allows me to do more things with my art and allows me to move to California. Um, so this background is but temporary. My dog will be coming with us, this lovely man. Um, thank God. He is my boy. I know. <laughs> Jesse, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. It, for me, I enjoy customer service. I do. I don't like getting yelled at, but like account management, customer service, just itches a part of my brain. Like, come over here, Brian. Let's discuss the future of your company together. That sounds so nice. And I talk in this voice the whole time. And uh, yeah, and then everybody calls me like their niece or something because I have <laughs> a, a, melo a melodic customer service voice that I then snap out of and immediately need to go take a shower every time I finish talking on a phone call. Oh. Um, yeah, but overall, overall it'll be fun. And uh, money. Money is good. I enjoy money. Um, besides that, um, what are we playing today? Um, we're playing Echoes of the Palm Grove. For those of you who don't know, it is similar to Stardew Valley, but it's cozy with consequences. As in, we can get sick and die um, the fellow town people get sick and die. Um, <laughs> we have to try not to starve to death or not to freeze to death. Um, and we will be trying Malakar's uh, awesome mini game first. Um, it will take only a few minutes, but that's okay. We're definitely doing that first. It will. Mild profanity. Is it audio based or is it like reading? 
because that's also fun. Uh, just send me the link for it so I can get it going. But we will do that first. Oh, there's audio for it? <gasps> okay, what do we mean by profanity? Like, just swearing? <laughs> like, is it is it like... It's voice acted by you? Okay, by not swearing, it's fine. That's what we're... I say fuck all the time. I, I did it just now. Um, for those of you wondering, this is not a stream for kids. This is- this will never be a stream for kids. Okay, I would say, like, anybody younger than high school age should not be watching me. Alright? Let me make that very clear. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> I really don't. Um, besides that, so we're gonna be playing Echoes of the Clone Grove after we play Malakar's uh, Shooting Star game. And then our new schedule from here on out will be Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So we'll do it today, we'll do it on Thursday, and then this week, Saturday, um, we have my birthday stream. Because my birthday is on Sunday, we will start at 10 p.m. Central Time and play all the way up until the time of my birth at 1.05 a.m. <laughs> in which I will turn 28 and shrivel a little. <laughs> Yeah, of course I know the time. The time is on your birth certificate. If you want to know the time of your birth so that you can get your star chart done by an old lady, it's on your birth certificate. <laughs> you can know the time, too. Um, and then... I have spring chicken. Spring chicken my ass. I mean, honestly, <laughs> this birthday is 40. That's not my problem. <laughs> 40 is good. A lot of my cousins are 40, so, um, and let's see, and then, yeah, we'll discuss some, there's also, like, some upcoming games, so this week we'll play Echoes of the Plum Grove, Saturday we will start year two of Stardew Valley, and then we'll continue with Stardew Valley next week, um, and then after that, Sunnyside comes out, and we will play Sunnyside until the end of the month, um, so these will be long, long streams. I don't intend on ending them quickly or anything. Besides that, we have 16 followers out of 20. So we got. I gotta come up with what um, the next goal is. I do have some stuff planned for uh, my birthday on Saturday. I want to sort of change this whole setup I got going on over here. Um, make it more cute, more cool, more uh, uh, fancy and spiffy. Um, but that, I don't want to make that like a stretch goal. I just want to do it. But yeah, <laughs> I'll suddenly learn how to play guitar and then I'll get the amp out of the basement and dust it off. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I can play like a few notes, but I can't play songs. I don't, I know where to like place my fingers to make a note that doesn't sound like garbage, but I don't know how to make chords. Um, but other than that, um, uh, Mal, if you can send me the link, uh, to your game. That would be amazing. And also if you could put it in chat and I'll pin it. Oh, today we have three different drinks. I finally am in a place where I can be a drinks girly and have like one for hydration and one for taste and one for caffeine. Desirable. Truly living it up over here. I'll pin it. So I'll pull up my Discord and grab it. Awesome! Cute. Okay, and then I'll take it and I will put it in... Use the, yeah, the stainless steel ones I think get washed better, honestly. Alright. Let me put it in chat too. Oof, how do I do emote stuff? I don't know how anything works. We'll do that. Okay. 
think I can post links in chat, but I don't think other people can post links in chat. Is there? Yep. Here we go. Hooray! <laughs> yeah, it is probably for the best, especially after like our first raid and stuff. Definitely feel a lot better about uh, blocking off who can post what and when. Um, I want to just pop in. I need to get OBS set up the right way. Okay. I'll put on my headphones. Okay. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Oh no, uh, so, okay, well... Meh. <laughs> Audio is very required, good. Um, but also, um, there was like, yeah, several bots came in at once, and then two people, like, accused me, or one person came in and, like, accused me of making bots to talk in my chat. And they were feuding with each other. They were like trying to show me their artwork, but I I make my own artwork. I, for the record, I don't need anybody to show me their portfolio. If I need something, I will reach out to people that I want to get stuff from. I will not. No. <laughs> so yeah, the artwork solicitors. That's why solicitation is not allowed in chat. Um, it's just not. Now, if you're cool, like now. And you message me in the Discord and you say, hey, can I, can you play this game that I made? I will be like, uh, heck yeah, because one, I actually know you. <laughs> We've talked for longer than two seconds in chat. Um, <laughs> and thus, I'm okay with it. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'll use stable, exactly. I'll use what's actually available or I'll make it myself, like in the case of the updates that will come out on Saturday, but it's a thing. It's a thing. I don't... <laughs> anyway, anyway, let's hop on in. Okay. Oh. Wow. You really Hi, I do. Ass. I'm wow. bad. You really suck ass. There we go. It's, it wow. comes out of nowhere. It comes out of nowhere. <laughs> okay. I like really have to focus. Oh. Wow, you Shit. really suck. Wow, you really suck ass. There we go, I got it. Okay. How did you even make this? Absolutely focused. You suck. Oh, it changes. That's fun. That's fun. <laughs> okay, what are we gonna do it again? I'm I'm now it's very addictive, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay. So it changes the better you get. Don't suck ass. Mal figured out a way to be mean to me off stream. <laughs> You don't have to tweak it just for me, you know. There's absolutely people who can play this. You suck. I don't suck. I'm really good, okay? I'm trying my best.
the X speed, maybe. Just add perma death and we're good. <laughs> uh, or like the whole, like suddenly a black hole opens up in the background and swallows your whole browser window. Wow, you really suck ass. Although I feel like you'd need perma keys or something for that. <laughs> It's still Gabe. Gabe tells you you suck ass. Gabe tells you you suck ass. Oh. <laughs> the, the, the link no longer works after that point. Oh, I see. Yay! It's cute and it's purple, which is ideal for me. could low-key play this for like an hour or several hours this is exactly what my little cat brain needs you suck ten out of ten music ten out of ten it's it's very lovely. This is so fun. <laughs> this is really fun now. I actually like, like I'm being very serious. This is, this is really fun. Ten, ten. Round of applause. I, I'm so tempted to just keep playing. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> okay, one more time. One more time, and then we'll switch. Oh. Wow, you really suck ass. Okay, one more time. Like actually, seriously. Alright. Yay. 10 out of 10. That was so fun. That was awesome. Thank you so much for sharing, though. I'm absolutely going to keep playing that off stream. That's very... It's like... I love games that have like a very well done simplicity. Where it's like... Clearly, there's other games that do similar things. Like Pong, obviously original um but like the aesthetics the music the use of <laughs> you gotta see the windscreen oh okay there's a wait there's a windscreen oh score 50 to win oh shit okay i'll do a refresh <laughs> I completely forgot how OBS is structured. Can you believe? Okay. Ooh. A bouncer. Watch me. You you just rolled out an easy version and watch me like not be able to do the easy version either. <laughs> I think you're overestimating how actually bad at games I am, and that's why I play, like, easy things like Stardew and Sims. Um. very hard to get up to 50 I feel like oh not bad damn it the one gets small at bat makes sense not bad is good <laughs> I'll take the not bad all right we're getting 50 we're doing it I want it I really do want to do it wow you really suck ass <laughs> I feel like 
25 isn't isn't terrible. You suck. I I am hitting enter, I promise. Bounce right in the corner. Don't move. <laughs> Stay exactly there. Oh, I see the wand shrinking. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit like this. <laughs> I got the bug. Oh no. Oh gosh. What a terror. Okay. I won't let myself cheat. Let's see if I can. I can get it to move. <laughs> Take the win? No, oh, okay. Because we want to see the win screen, so. There's a bug. There's a fun little Easter egg bug. I'll take instant win results. Look at it go. Wow. That is a tiny wand. Let's people see the wind screen. I think, I think having fun little bugs like this is very enjoyable. I do find it interesting that it doesn't bounce quite as high on the one when it's smaller. Or does it? Is that just my eyes? That's just my eyes playing tricks on me. Okay. <laughs> ten out of ten silliness. Let's be honest, I wouldn't be able to see the windscreen any other way because I'm really bad at, at games like this. Bounce is lower. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's not okay. My eyeballs are functioning normally. Fantastic. Here we go. Oh, let it drop. Okay. You're a motherfucking rock star from Mars. <laughs> yes. I am. I am a motherfucking rock star from Mars. Thank you. Oh, the end screen broke. No. This is why playtesting is so important. I, I understand the appeal. I really do. <clears throat> I am indeed a motherfucking rock star from Mars, though. Was there supposed to be like like a little image? And animation? No! God. I don't want to see it. So, I, do you think it's like tied to the bug, too? Okay. We'll check this out real quick. Like if you're stuck in one place and it's not going to display the same stuff. No, it's not. Okay. Two separate parts. I don't know how games work. For those of us just joining us, we're playing um, the shooting star game that's pinned at the top of chat. So if you want to play it as well, um, feel free to click the link. But at this point, uh, the ending screen win condition is broken. We are working on fixing it, <laughs> waiting for Mal to give us the all, all clear. That's basic, basically Alfredo. But is it like good cheesy Alfredo? It's just not mac and cheese, I guess. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, I'll switch to just chatting while we're waiting for the update. Okay, try now. Temporarily set wind condition to 30. Okay. Oh, immediately wow. lose. You really suck ass. Okay, I can do 30. At least I think I can do 30. <laughs>
I'm very determined. Not that. <gasps> <Yeah. laughs> okay. I know. <laughs> you <laughs> see, I feel like if 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 the person who made the game. Uh, is having trouble getting to the wind conditions. That just makes it a really good game. You suck. Okay, the one getting smaller is really freaking me out. Oh, that was close. We did it! We did it! Damn. You're a motherfucking rock star from Mars. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> yes! Click the blocked pop up. And we'll not. This is a fishing scheme now. It's a fishing scheme, okay. God. And thus we know most conclusively that Mal is a huge troll. <laughs> yeah, we did win. I am. I'm a motherfucking rock star from Mars. We succeeded at getting to 30. I feel like if I really focused, 50 is attainable. It really is attainable. Um, 10 out of 10. Great job, Mal. Great job. Uh, I'm going to switch it over to just chatting while I boot up Echoes of the Plum Grove. Um, it is doable, but very hard, yes. Which I feel like also makes the payoff of everything else, yes, of ev everything else, like, that much more intense, but I'm really glad that we got to see it. So thank you. <laughs> Yay! What made you want to make this? Gotta know. Wait, no, to start it. I wish I knew what LLMs and coding assistants are. Yeah, they pawn. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Awesome. Hooray. Oh, okay. So we're... We're having a good mess around time with uh, with chat GPT and AI and stuff. I gotcha. Awesome. Hmm. Sweet. And voiceover, awesome. Uh, music, very satisfying. Uh, <laughs> the graphics, the stars. I love purple, so this is a 10 out of 10. Without AI tools? Oh, so, oh. But I feel like that's the 
like I had instance where like AI tools are like a good idea, you know? Like when it comes to coding and video games, I feel like that's where AI tools really shine. So Tell me time. Thank you so much. Awesome. Um I will switch it over to Echoes of the Club Grove. Um this will be a little shocking <laughs> for some people. Really? For coding assistance? Chat GPT? It has helped to write my resume a few times. I know. You want to know what's cute? It's so fun. <laughs> yeah, for like, like helping with simple tasks or things that are like tedious that you don't want to do, I feel like AI is really great for. Victor Croft. You cannot do that. It's not allowed. Okay, anyway. <laughs> that will probably happen a few times, I'm gonna be honest, because there's people walking outside my window that he's looking at. You better lay nice. You lay nice. You're a good boy, thank you. Alright. A dog bark. <laughs> well, see, here's the thing. He doesn't bark often. Oh, <laughs> you can hear people. There's people in there approaching the castle. And here in my high second floor place, you know, it's new for me. I think we'll do a little triangle nose because I think I have a little triangle nose. Um... I also don't like many of the hairs in this game. I have played through it a few times. I've gotten past one year because this was pretty much my like coping game during the the decline. Um, and I almost don't like any of the hairs except this one, but I have played through, I do have like an initial startup plan, um, but it's not, it's not too much. Look at how cute! I love the one with the knitted, like, shawl. I think that that's something that I would wear, honestly. Now the shoes... I mean... It's okay. We'll do some little glasses. No, that makes me look really old. Confirm. First name. Ray. Wrinkle. Last name Castle. Easy. Easy peasy. Figured out. Alright. Let's enter the tragic, tragic beginning. Am I stuck within the borders of the screen? No, I'm not. Okay, great. I love, it's so 2D. This is made by two people, a couple up in, um, I believe, Washington. And so it's sort of based off of Washington State. Hello, look at us. This is from Timothy Tweed. Uh, my dearest friend, you have finally arrived. Yes. <laughs> Just beyond that horizon lies a new world, a fresh start. I hope you are as excited as I am. Just think of all the opportunities that await us. Uh-huh. <laughs> Soon the two of us will occupy our own plot of land, and we can begin our new adventure. A land on which to grow what we please, to build what we please. The possibilities are limitless. All aboard, we will be departing momentarily. Passengers to your designated area, if you please. Ah, it's just about time. There will be ample opportunity to catch up in the weeks to come. Jumping in Tesla from Seattle out east. Yeah, that's one of the ones I... One of the Amtrak train rides that I really want to do is the one from Chicago to... Um, oh god, what is it? What's the... 
the northern city in California. <laughs> but I hear it's really gorgeous and like the whole mountains and everything. Oh god! Oh my god, there's somebody dead on the back. Yar, the storm is a fierce one. The wheel, I can't keep her steady. Hang on, everybody. The wind is cracking beneath us. No, Timothy! I fear this may be the end for us all. My friend, we cannot afford to die here. We have so much to live for. The hull is breaking apart. Oh, God. Everyone abandoned ship. My dearest friend, I have treasured the times we spent together. If by chance one of us should perish, please take care of the... Take care of the what, Timothy? Take care of the what? Anyway, relax. Ooh, there's a boat woman. Goodness, you're finally awake. Not Sacramento, I guess the mid city in California. San Francisco. San Fran. From Chicago to San Fran, the Amtrak is supposed to be like one of the most scenic and beautiful um, rides possibly. It is kind of one. It's like, it, it, you know, because the whole state, it curves like this. It's like right here. You know, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> we had such a terrible storm last night. This little odd lighthouse that was rattling something fierce. Imagine my surprise when I found you washed up on the beach this morning. I couldn't just leave you out there, of course. But my dear, I hate to be the bearer of grave news. I'm afraid you may be the only survivor. No, Timothy! We found you amidst the wreckage. The others, I fear, have likely perished, perished in that dreadful storm. Don't fret, dearie. That was quite an ordeal, I'm sure. You, but you're safe now, and that's what matters. Yeah. Well, uh, Uber, Uber headquarters in, in, is in SF as well, and I, I haven't visited, and I'm not going to. <laughs> so, uh, I know this is a lot to take in, I can only imagine. But when you're feeling up to it, I have someone who wishes to meet with you. Is it Timothy? Someone rather important, no less. Just head through the door when you're ready. He'll be waiting. Oh, golly jeepers. Okay. Look at us. Look at how cute. We flip around. We're a little 2D person. Aha! It's Quentin Whitfield. So good to see you up and about. Wow. Oh, look at this stuff. I want all of these things. Uh, feeling better then? No broken bones? I heard about your situation. Such a tragedy. The sea is a cruel mistress. At the same time, I must offer you a proper welcome. Though the circumstances may be less than ideal, you found your way to our fair town of Honeywood. The name's Quentin Whitfield. I'm the mayor here. Oh, the mayor. George Washington. <laughs> uh, I presume you are one of the fine folks who purchased that old lot out east. We were on the lookout for you and your friend Timothy was his name, I believe. Yes, and he's dead. I'm afraid he may not have survived the shipwreck. A tragedy, to be sure. Sorrows, prayers. <laughs> uh, alas, that old farm remains as vacant as ever. And, the, and those weeds aren't going to cut themselves. What say you? Would you be willing to settle on our fair island nonetheless? If so, then follow me and I'll take you to your no new home. It's but a short distance from here over the bridge to the east. Take care, my dear. I packed some food to help you get started. Space to eat. <laughs> It'll be in your inventory. Press I. Many thanks for your hospitality, Luna. Now off to the farm. Is her name Luna? I feel like we've covered that already. Oh, here we go. Ooh, look at the sea, the water mechanics. Wow. Let me find myself. Barely contained water. Uh, the waves seem calmer than usual this morning. The calm after the storm, perhaps? These are calm to you? You see, despite the storms that come through, that come through here, uh, hey, take care of stuff. Right. We're a re regular stop on the train routes. <laughs> Any, 
Did I mention that there's five dogs in this house? Oh, and it looks like my um, father and sister are returning from groceries. Hooray! Miss uh, Quentin Whitfield, this here is our charming schoolhouse where the children of Honeywood spend their day learning. Mayhaps your own offspring will one day go here too. It is an all dog alert. It really is. That, that is sort of their job. It is their entire purpose. Okay. All right. Victor. Go out. We're gonna bark up. He's just he's just up and about. He's just standing. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Oh, there we go. The problem temporarily resolved somehow in a little bit. Kind of, sort of. Not really, at the same time. Uh, I think that's just going to be our situation for the next two months until I move to California. <laughs> it's going to be like uh, an entire pack, basically, of dogs howling. Um, which is fine. That's just how I've grown up my whole life as well. No worries. I'm glad. I'm glad no worries. <laughs> for me, it's like, no. No, the audio. No. But at the same time, I'm like, that's just what dogs are going to do. Especially my dogs, because that's like what they're bred to do, so. Um. <laughs> um, now, where was that thing? Ah, yes, here it is. I'm so glad I always keep an extra on me. So you shan't be lost. I present you with a map of the island. It's yours to keep. West from here is the center of Honeywood and my estate. You can ponder your map later, press M, to see where things are located and which shops are open at what time of day. Click on Victor Crumb. No. Alright. I have a solution. I have a solution to closing the curtains. You can't alert for things if you can't see them. Ten out of ten solved. All right, click on signposts on the map to fast travel to different locations around the island. This will help you move around more easily. Now let us keep moving. We're but a few minutes away. Hooray. Look at how cute. So we start off in the spring, as I feel is very common with farming games, so that you get like the maximum amount of time. Um, before winter comes. My, my, I hadn't realized the farm had fallen into such disrepair. <laughs> well, that just means you can truly make it your own. An honest day's work is good for the soul, isn't that right? Although it might take more than a day's work to clean this place up. Ho ho. Now, there, now there's the topic of taxes. The land is yours to keep, but taxes will always be due at the end of every week. You can find me at the town hall later today to sign your name on the deed and work out the details of payment. Oh, it's Victor Crumb, like uh, the Durmstrang guy from Harry Potter, the fourth movie. Um, yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, oh, I almost forgot. The previous owners might have left behind some equipment in the farmhouse when they left. Be sure to take a look. There might be some tools lying about to help you get started. Ooh. Oh, we want food. And we get some little food to start. We do have to eat and we do have to sleep um, in that respect, so. There are some really cute things that we can do. Ah, 
I, yes, I love, I love the art style. We're just going to clear out a patch here, and then we're going to plant the 15 turnip seeds. We want to get things in the ground. Um, not that we have to do it quickly, but like before the end of the day would be great. You do get seeds, um, some seeds when you harvest so that you don't have to like constantly buy a bunch, but it's not a lot. It's not a lot. It's not a reliable source. So we do have to like buy new seeds every season, especially for the first year. Um, and then you can save some of those as well. I'm so glad I, I played some of this in advance because it was really helpful. Um, but things do expire in the game. Seeds, luckily, is not one of the things that expire. Um, but food is, especially ingredients, especially like dairy, eggs, meat, those kinds of things. Um, and then various goods have different expiration dates as well. Something like this, um, pemmican, it's or jams and pickled things or dried meats, they will last like a whole season, which is nice. Um, and then you can see like the journey cakes, they'll rot within a week. <coughs> oh my gosh, that's what I get for being allergic to dogs. <coughs> no, you cannot, you cannot keep fish in your chest. You can dry the fish. And you can like pickle the fish as well. And you can cook the fish into other meals. Um, but fish at, lasts maybe like one or two days off of refrigeration. So you, there is fishing in the game. We will be turning off the fishing mini game because it's annoying and awful. Um, I love food preservation because this is like a survival farming game. Like we will grow old and die but if we don't get married and have kids, then there's nobody to continue the game, like the game and everything. We also can get sick from disease like malaria, smallpox, um, the flu, and that affects us as well. And we can starve to death. So that's why we have to eat and that's why food preservation is important. Oh yeah, very Oregon Trail-esque, yes. All right, now we've watered our thing. We're not gonna purchase any seeds, so with the first quest um, of visiting the mayor, also if you shake um, trees and bushes, you will get sticks and wood. Um, I don't think shaking the bushes is very important because um, there's a lot of things that you can't sell, like some of these little pickup plant items that are outlined in black. Some of those you can you can sell and some of them you can't. But the first quest from the mayor is to go talk to him and then you like sign the deed. Um, and then he asks you to go like talk to a bunch of people and once you complete that quest he gives you a bunch of free seeds. So buying them outright is not a great idea as I learned in my first playthrough. The other thing is there are like certain quests that you have to do first, um, especially mining quests and things like that, because if the person who gives the quest dies of old age, which they do, and they, they did in my first playthrough, um, can't deliver the quest item, uh, even if they have an apprentice, which is a thing. You can also assign your kids to go apprentice at like the blacksmith and stuff like oops also there's M preg in this game that man is pregnant although actually uh he has eyelashes so i guess it is a woman but at the same thing you can pick who gets pregnant out of the two 10 out of 10 that's all i actually ever wanted was M preg in a game <laughs> um i i it's it's fantastic um ah there you are Only I can get pregnant. Get to work, scientists. I mean, they'll figure it out one of these days. 
I've read way too much fan fiction. Somebody's got to stop me. Um, if you'll just follow me, please. Look at his little under eye bag. He's so old and wrinkly. <laughs> so cute. Uh, now where is that deed? Aha, here it is. Now I just need you to sign your name over here. Ooh, that's my name. That's totally what it looks like. Yep. And with my seal, it is official. The land is now yours. Don't forget, taxes are due every Sunday by the end of the day. If you if you miss it, they do take your farm. That is not great. <laughs> be sure to see me to make your payment. Otherwise, your land will be seized. Uh, but don't fret. You can earn money by selling your crops or collecting objects around the island. Most folks around here will purchase just about anything for a fair price. Unless they don't have enough money on them to buy it, then you have to find another person. The other part... With the taxes, is the more stuff you have on your land, the better house you have and all of that. Um, and also, like, every week, I believe, it just naturally increases. So there will come a point where it will just be physically impossible to pay the taxes that you need to. I don't know if it resets when you switch to having, a, like, to playing as your kid, because I haven't gotten to that point. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, most folks around here will purchase just about anything for a fair price. I'm sure you'll be able to make your weekly payment without much hassle. You can make quite a bit of money every week if you really try. Um, and especially like late game when you can make really complicated food items. Those are sold for a lot as well. Now that all the formalities are over, I would like to ask a favor of you. Let us discuss this over here. Over here. Far away. In front of the desk. Many of our town folks are eager to meet you. I would like, to, I'd like you to introduce yourself to some of them. After all, it's not every day that we have new residents on our little island, especially ones who washed up on shore. If you complete this quest for me, I shall reward you with some items. I think you'll find them very helpful. We also have a bulletin board on that wall uh, just outside the town hall. Town folks use it to post jobs from time to time. If you can, be sure to check it out. Now there's no time to lose. Off you go. So, we own our farm now, which is hilarious because we already sowed and planted some stuff. We'll check the little board. Looks like they need 20 wood and they will give us an axe and nails. Absolutely need to accept this. This job is one of like the first required ones and then his job will um, lead to the mining job as well. Oh no! Uh, honestly, uh, it, it doesn't happen. Okay, well, now if the plague hits, if the plague hits, then yeah, they die pretty quickly and early on. Um, but otherwise, it takes like a couple years. And then you get to like uh, meet their kids and their kids will grow up. Uh, the mayor dies very early on, honestly. Like, it's all bets are off. Including, like, for your own life, too. Uh, my first playthrough, I had smallpox, and I am so lucky that I, I didn't. Like, I don't think it's a very uh, often thing. Not the getting sick. The getting sick happens. It's just gonna happen. Uh, the dying of something, I don't think is, like, a very common thing. Especially if you do the steps that the doctor tells you. There is a town doctor... You can get inoculated, um, and then for some instances or some sicknesses, he does have, like, a remedy, um, that has a percentage of working. But usually, usually it's, in my experience so far, it's been pretty manageable. Just talk. I don't care for the dialogue. It also doesn't like change in the situation. Like, you go to marriages and you go to funerals up here, and at like weddings, people just talk normally. They don't talk about the wedding that you're at. They don't talk about like oh how they know the person that's getting married. Um, and same with funerals, they just talk about like oh uh, how is your how's your arrival over here? It it doesn't evolve either unless you become like really 
good friends with them, then it kind of changes the dialogue. But other than that, not as uh, as intensive as I would have liked. But that's okay. So we're we're gonna ignore most of the dialogue, except when it comes to like some of the heavier story moments. Let's try it. She's adorable. Absolutely adorable. Let's see, what can we trade her? Um, sell the morals. I believe most of these can be, um, see, like, this type of weed, the plantain, which I don't think is a plantain. Um, those can't be sold. They're used in herbal remedies, I think. I think they shouldn't eat it. I don't know the use of these at all. I haven't I haven't had the opportunity to use them at all. Oh, well, there's almonds, and then she has pea seeds. Okay, anything else? No. But thank you for a few coin. But you could see, so here's our taxes for the week. We only, we're like practically there already. It's not hard to keep up with the taxes. Um, and we do have enough wood for that one guy who wants it. If we look on our map, you can see where the people that you have like completed quests for are. And then there's also fast travel, which is really nice. But it does pass time when you fast travel. Hey. Going to refill my bucket of water here for tomorrow. We'll go talk to these. Oh, tons of people to talk to. Fantastic. Doc, 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 doc. Doc, 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 doc. Doc, doc, doc. Oh, we already talked to you. Okay. Doc, stop overlapping each other. There we go. Doc, doc. We have to talk to ten more people. <laughs> oh, perfect. Uh, duck in. Okay. Duck in. Okay. How many more? Eight. Okay. So only the adults. Yeah. I don't know. Who are you? But we already talked to you. You're more important. You can go into some people's houses, but not everybody's. <laughs> Look at this angry lady. She has a little stuffed kitchen. You can gift things to people um, and children, and it will like increase your relationship, and then they'll be nicer to you, or they'll have like this other stuff. But here, we'll turn in wood, then we'll view the quest. He wants us to go purchase a rocking chair for him from the saw sawmill, and then he'll give us a lantern, and a lantern is what we need uh, to go into the mines. So yay. And he also repairs our equipment for us, which is nice. Um, he has an axe, we just got an axe for free from him, so 10 out of 10. We do need some nails. Nails are just going to be one of those things that we're going to be really focused on buying. A lot of the starting recipes have them, and we need them desperately. Alright, we have six more people to talk to. Here's the graveyard. No matter what, um, the grave that's used during like funerals is this one. Like this place doesn't fill up with graves or anything. It's just the funerals will always be held here. <laughs> it's like, are we supposed to be doing this? My other favorite thing, look what just happened. The wood went into an inaccessible place. And what did it do? 
it bounced back out. You hear that, Stardew Valley developer? Scared Ape? You can do it too. Please. Please. Well then look, it says that uh, we move sm slower because it's dark out. But if we had a lantern, we could see it will move at normal speed. We're going to forego the trees over there and we're going to go home. Okay. We didn't do too bad. Yeah, okay, I get it. We're feeling peckish. That's what this says. Time until hungry, 11 minutes and 55 seconds. We can make survival salad. Oh, that's what the plant feeds are for. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Very good quality of life. They really thought about, like, possible issues everybody would have. And that's why also... They knew that the farming game for some people was just not going to pique everybody's interest, so you're able to disable it, which we will be doing, because it is, I'll show you what it is once we get um, the uh, fishing pole, but it is not that great. It is not fun. I'm going to be honest, <laughs> it's the one part of this game that I hate with my entire being. Um, Alright, so we'll, we can sleep until rested or sleep until dawn. I think we'll do that. dog house. Also getting a dog is fairly inexpensive, but we don't want to focus on it up front. What we want to do is we want one of these. So that's our first goal, uh, is doing a preservative jar. Um, and then we'll work from there. So we need some wood, which we should easily be able to collect. We need five more nails and five more stone. Easy peasy. But at the same time, easier said than done. Um, here we go. Oh, it's raining. We don't have to. We don't have to water our crops. Yay! That's very helpful for an early on thing because the rain is also random randomized. My first playthrough, I had like three days straight of rain. And I was spoiled. Absolutely spoiled. Um, we'll mine this rock. And that's all the stone that we needed. And then with our axe that we have in our inventory, we can get the wood that we need too. The axe runs out pretty quickly. In fact, most of the beginning tools need to be repaired fairly often. If you hit them too much before, like if you fully empty this bar, they do break and fall apart. It is. I see like echoes of Plymouth Rock. It is. It's, it's definitely Plymouth Rock. Um, this is very like colonial. Is Plymouth Rock, where is Plymouth Rock? Is that out east? I feel like it's out east. East Coast? Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm so glad that I do have noise cancellation that, like, recognizes other people's voices. Um, 
because sometimes when my mom is watching a show, she starts shrieking at the TV. <laughs> this is what she's doing right now, and I'm like, no! <laughs> oh, right, in the town of Plymouth. Plymouth Rock in Plymouth. Plymouth what state? <laughs> is it, like, Maryland or something? Plymouth, Virginia? This will be the last two trees that we're able to cut down before we have to visit things repaired. Massachusetts. Ah, it's always the long ones. It's always the ones with the long name. Alright, how much? Oh, we have so much. So much wood. We do have to go. Um, let's collect some hay and we'll sell the hay. we don't have animals right now we can grow hay uh, but it's a good part of like early income just sort of selling whatever you're not going to use for like food or anything then we can go get a fishing rod and we can go repair our axe and if we get 200 wood we can unlock um, another little area Maybe we'll get some stone too, just for good measure. Alright, and it seems like the only thing we'll have left is that we need um, five nails. But first, let's go do um, getting the rocking chair for that one quest. They have a couple of good updates. I know in like the early version that I had watched a Let's Play of, um, there were two different types of rocking chairs and people were getting confused. Um, but now it's just the one, which is very nice and easy. Hello, Agnes. Uh, I tried to marry this guy in my first playthrough, but he has the cruel personality, so he doesn't. I also think um, he married a man as well after he rejected me, so I think I'm just not his type and that's fine. Um, uh, we do need this lantern a little, but we need the rocking chair. Um, so we'll sell this, and these, and we have some extra wood, so we'll sell a little bit of extra wood. Okay, maybe a lot of extra wood. There we go. Now we should have enough money to buy five more nails, and then we can get that preservation jar. <laughs> if it goes poorly, we can always pretend it's Rono. Yeah, you can kill people in this. You can't. You can kill your rivals. Not that anybody has rivals, really, but you can uh, make, like, a poison cake and feed it to people. Which I think is hilarious. Because this is, like, so not the vibe that would normally have you do that. Yes. An evil playthrough. <laughs> really awful sinus time. Constantly. This is why I, like, had my own house where... I had like air purifiers running the whole time. <laughs> I don't I don't like being evil. I don't know what happens if I kill people. Um, see here's the thing is when it comes to um like the woodcutter, people who are in prominent positions of power, um they'll get replaced by people off the boat from like England. So when the mayor died, um, he, he had a replacement that came up. Oh, this is rare. I've never gotten one of those. A pawpaw. And it's only one day until it rots. Oh my god. That sucks. I'll never be able to find it. We need to go back to England and disable, dismantle the monarchy. Yes. We need to just kill everyone. And then find out where they came from and kill those people as well. It's flawless. <laughs> I 
can be get all of the wood. All of the wood. All of the wood so we can get all of the fish. This is honestly 90% of the game is collecting wood though. <laughs> One, if you have excess wood, it's so great. It's like a really great starting like money thing um, to sell. And then also you need it for everything. Everything. And you need a lot of wood. You can gather probably like 40 pieces of wood a day too. And you, you need that amount. You really do. And it's already 1 p.m. and it's dark out and I don't like it. Um, let's see, who else do I have to talk to? I have a few more people who need to talk to. I think I haven't talked to her. And the other thing is that the bakery closes at two. Like why? We really have to run over here. Oh, you have a quest for me. Oh, I already talked to both of you people. Oh, I got kicked out because it's two. Sucks. Ugh. Now let's talk to you. Alright. Two more people. Yes, I love the way you look at 3 a.m. Yeah, so if you want some bread products, you gotta wake up and that's gotta be like your first thing that you do. Oh, wheat. Complete in 10 days and then we'll get flower box blue. Ugh, that's kind of lame. Um, want some fish and they'll give us some gold and a hat. Um, sure. I think we can accomplish that pretty quickly. And also, um, outfit items we can sell for a lot, so. Are you an extra person? Ooh, yeah, they're an extra person. Let's go talk to the doctor. Here he is. Hello, doctor. So we can't get inoculated yet, but a girl can try. And we'll sell these to him, along with our hay, and some morals. Haha, <laughs> gotta sell my morals! Oh, we are making bank! Perfect. We're not gonna sell the poppy. Oh wait, I could get inoculated. <clears throat> no, I'll sell it. Is that important? If I see people looking really tired and walking around, then I'll be concerned. But until the very first ship lands this weekend, there's not really a good chance of us getting sick. Because it's the boats that bring disease, as always. Ooh, an health shop. And some sand. Did I... Did I do it? I did the thing. Hey, mister. Mr. Man. Hey, buddy. Return in request. Pay my taxes. Complete. And then he gave us a ton of seeds. These will pretty much sustain us mostly through sleep. Oh, what do you have for me? If I give you a single wooden bed, you'll give us a porridge recipe. A butter churn blueprint and six loaves of bread? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. That's happening. A hundred percent that's happening. Look at him and his little apprentice! Oh, so cute! Okay. Turn in the quest. Do his next quest. We have to go. Uh, he's given us a lamp. If we find his lucky mallet in the mines, then we can get it. Okay, so let's do that right now. Oh, hold on. Very important. I think I have to turn that off. There we go. 
If we don't turn it off, it'll run out of oil before we pretty much even make it to the mines. And I don't blame them. But that's up for me. Uh, yep. But we'll go to the mines. We will mine some stuff. Oh, I was supposed to get him to repair my axe. Shit. Excuse me, I pop and blah. Monsieur. Repair my axe, please. Thank you. And luckily it's like a one day turnaround. So if you turn it in in the afternoon, it'll be ready tomorrow morning. We'll go the long ways. So I want all the wood. We need to get all of the wood and then we're going to return to our home. I don't know why I'm doing this voice at all. Uh, I did a D&D &D game yesterday where I was talking like this the whole time. And hi, oh my gosh. And by the end of it, my cheekbones hurt so bad. So bad. My face was stuck, basically. But it was so fun. I had a great time. I was um, a purple druid, but I was cute and pink. Oh, there's cherries. Uh, we will leave the cherries because they'll get there'll be more cherries on the trees if we leave them. Uh, the second we pick them is the second that the rotting clock starts its countdown. We don't want to do that. Uh, you can raise and butcher animals in this too, by the way. So all of the all of the um, cows and chickens that you get, uh, you can sell them to the butcher at any point and they'll butcher them for you. Because it's the circle of life. How much wood? Oh, we're making pretty good progress on this wood collection. We need 200 to fix this bridge that's over to the west of us. That is my first mission. Uh, even though we haven't gotten the quest to do it yet, I still want to be prepared. Um, so first things first are, is always get to the mines, you know, and do the, collect the first quest off of the board right when you get in. That will be the one that leads you to the blacksmith. Um, you get you collect a bunch of wood, give it to the blacksmith. He gives you a lantern and tells you to go find his mallet in the mines. You do that, he gives you um, more like lighter fluid for your lamp, which helps you go mine more regularly. And then early game, you can't use a furnace yet, so you can sell a lot of that ore and make a pretty good chunk of change. Um, and then the next quest is to, like, uh, repair that bridge over there with 200 wood. Um, it's getting up to that point. And then, like, secondary quest is to get a preserves jar and try and get as many, like, preservation racks and drying racks and, and jars as possible so that you can save a bunch of food and really prep for winter. And then from there, our next goals are going to be getting married so that we can be nice to people and like give them gifts and stuff and then you can upgrade your house after that to be larger so that when you start having kids you have places to put them but upgrading your house can really be sort of like a last minute thing those are having those dirty old oil lamps yeah oh my gosh that's why people's life expectancy was so small I think that's what Stardew taught us, is that lo affection can be bought. Uh, loyalty can be won through gifts. I do think, and also if you marry, like, either the blacksmith or uh, somebody in, like, an important job, 
then you get access to the like if you send your kid off to be an apprentice at the blacksmiths you can then just give your weapons to them in the morning or like your tools to them in the morning and have them repair them for you uh, and then the same thing is like they have the same stock as the person who works at the blacksmith so you could just be in your home you don't have to go anywhere um, and you could just purchase the items that you need from your from your husband and child <laughs> The need to sneeze is overwhelming, let me tell you. Alright, so we turned down my applaud. Oop, R is itchy. Honestly, I probably should be masking. Because every time I wear, like, a breathing mask, I don't have any allergic reactions to my dogs. Unless they lick me. Um, which they've been mostly trained not to do. But still. Okay, we're going to mine. Oh, we're hungry. Oh, we're very hungry. Okay, let's eat um, these pancakes. There we go. We've been pancaked. You do need to eat like a meal a day, pretty much. I don't like it. I don't enjoy how much we have to do, um, at, like daily to survive. I'd like the upkeep to be lesser, but that's just because I want it all. Oh, we found some gold. Perfect. And here's his mallet. Now if we use the map, we can teleport back. Oh, actually, we should do this tomorrow because it's 10 p.m., so. Did I shank these? Yes, I did. Okay. Oh, and it's too close to the day to plant anything yet, so we'll plant stuff tomorrow as well. Let's see, uh, let's cook another survival salad. Survival recipe, boy you're desperate. No, I'm not desperate, I'm doing just fine. Oh, we forgot to buy nails from the guy, shit, okay. Ooh, yay! Now we can make a stone well. And we learned the recipe for making another drying rack. Perfect. We are well on our way. Now I am going to make this wooden bed. Which does mean that we need to get like a lot more nails next time now. Um, but I want to fulfill this quest for the bed. So we only have three days to do it, and I want all of these items ASAP. So. But first, of course, most importantly, we must take care of our farm. The noises in the game are also very satisfying, I think. Which I feel like is kind of mandatory for a farming game. Or cozy games in general. Like the little noises that you have going on have to not be annoying. They have to be very satisfying. Because you're going to do the same action over and over. And I think that game, this game does it quite well. What are those turnip seeds on number three? Yeah, they are. So we'll plant them next to the other turnips. You can also, with things like quality of life, also applies to the keys that you're using. Like when I press the number pad, 
it cycle through, but it will skip. Like if I press three and there's nothing in the three box, it won't activate the third card or anything. Which is very nice. I like it a lot. And it highlights where you're clicking. So there's no confusion on where your watering can is gonna go, Stardew Valley. <laughs> just have like small wishes for Stardew. Like I need things to be telegraphed. Oh, it looks like we have mail too. Zero. I'm gonna leave the water everything. <laughs> Ugh. Luckily, it's like perfectly measured. All of your starting seeds that you get for free um, are all able to be watered with one load of the watering can. Very nice. It just sort of fits. It's like you're meant to have this amount, and so it's perfect. I do wish that water moves a little faster. Oh, another thing, when we have kids, we can assign them to do one of two things. Well, okay, three different things. Either they go to school. I don't know what that does for them, like, long term. Um, they can work on our farm and be little helpers and pick crops and water feet and water crops and everything. Uh, or we can get them assigned as an apprentice, like I mentioned earlier. But ooh, hold on. it's very fun. It's very fun having like a built-in workforce. <laughs> oh yeah, our our item is repaired. Uh, if I can get him two things of dried vegetables in the next six days, which I think is possible, he'll give us some cream and some gold. I'll say sure for that. Um, now that we have a fixed axe, I believe. Oh, we still have. Oh, we have onion seeds. Oh shit. Okay, I had to do one more. still fixed though with the watering can so it's fine where's it um pigs like turnips grow in three days and then it takes like one day to dry them so we'll be totally fine with the drying time on everything but alas i'm genetically predisposed I'm also gonna like not have dogs. Like, I can't not have dogs. I need them. I need them in my life. I think that guy makes tree. I wonder how much wood do we have? So much wood. Okay, so they're, they're like mandatory, honestly. I can't not have them. That. Break down this little guy. I know I keep on saying like, oh, we're gonna go do this, and then I'm like, but wood, but collecting wood, it's very important. it we really could easily get 200 easily easily at least by the time that we need it but also there's so many other things that we have to build 
in the meantime, too, that require a bunch of wood. So it's hard to keep the 200. It's better to just get it out of the way. Just build the bridge and be done. Because even after one year, I wasn't able to build a bridge. And then all of the people who, like, owned the quests for it died. So. It didn't go too well. Alright, that'll be that. And then we have to get it repaired again. Same with our pickaxe. Alas. Such is life. Constant repair. And you could only get one tool repair a day. So planning that is kind of hard. I want to get a lot done today. I'm going to do... Oh, perfect. And then, where do we want to go? What are we doing again? We need the fish. We have the bed. Where's the bed lady? She's in the bakery. Oh, shit. Oh, we're not going to make it. We are not going to make it. Absolutely not. Maybe we'll get to talk to her later. <laughs> Ay, shit. We'll just see if she comes out of the of the place. Um, let's refill our water. Yeah, she's in there. Yeah. I hate that the bakery closes so early. Uh, Let's get this guy his hammer, turning quest, and then view quest, except we already have some iron, we'll turn that in too, and then we can get our axe repaired. Yay! And trade with him and get all of these. Yes. We'll sell all of our quartz, and we'll sell our gold. Um... We'll sell this guy, and these guys, and these guys. And, uh, uh, that should do it. And then we'll deal with the iron bar later. I think that's it. Okay. Um, that's what I mean. We can't sell the sticks, or the worms, or the dirt. And that makes me mad, if I'm gonna be honest. I should be able to sell everything that I pick up. I should be able to fully liquidate my entire asset base in order to pay rent or taxes. I really, I need that to be a thing. That is like my only complaint. Don't come back, lady. I have your bed. Yes, we got six loaves of bread. And two more recipes. Perfect. Now we won't starve. Hooray! Oh, we have two butter churn blueprints? <sighs> At least we can sell one. Let's see what's on the quest board. Two turnip soups. Well, I don't know how to make turnip soup, I don't think. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll try our best. Anything to pick up? Ooh, an oyster. Oh, that's the lady over there who sells, she sells the, uh, the fishing poles. Come here, lady. Don't go anywhere. Can I go in here? Oh, I can't. Oh, good. Come here, lady. Give me that. Oh, 
<laughs> Success. That's it. Huzzah! So, we played out with that. Look at the good fish. A little gold fish that we can sell the fish for money. Woo! But also, let me show you this fucking fishing mini game before we turn it off. <laughs> hey, day. I have to use the WASD keys to get it. And all I get is algae from that. It takes forever. And when it comes to like an actual fish, this is grueling. Yeah, big ick. Big ick. In some ways, easy sometimes. In many ways, not. And annoying. Especially when you're going for like rarer fish and it makes it almost impossible to get them so we're actually just going to turn it off we're just going to turn it off and then we're going to save yeah love a good fishing mini game hate a bad one really hate anything that has to do with the arrow keys for me like if it was just me like oh it's my little mouse Ooh. Ooh, I have to keep clicking while I move my mouse around on the screen. Fun. Enjoyable. Anything else? Garbage. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we'll only need this one fish and we'll hang it up to dry on our little drying rack tonight. Um, We'll get to go make our little preserves jar. I'm not gonna mine right now because my pickaxe is almost broken. I don't want to have to buy a new one. So we'll just circle around and go home. Plenty to gather otherwise. Yeah, when they're bad, they're bad. Fishing games is like either they're wonderful and you're like, yes, I love fishing, or they're awful and you're like, why is this here? Oh yeah, the scenery here is absolutely gorgeous. I cannot get over it. And I love the depth of field view, like as we move around, how things shrink into the background or not. Ugh. Gorgeous. Good evening. Thank you. We got a pretty good amount of wood, I want to say. 10 out of 10. Alright, and we're home. Get rid of this little guy, because he's blocking. <laughs> um, and these little guys. Because why not? And then we will go in, and we will hang up this little guy here. Uh, we will use... So this little hammer is how you pick things up and move them around, furniture-wise. So we'll move it further away. And then we will build one of these. Oh, I don't have coal! Shit. And I don't have enough nails! Ah! Damn it. Okay. So we need one more nail, and we need five coal. So we'll, we can do that tomorrow. I'll eat some bread. I'll make another little survival salad. Or two, I guess. Sure. I 
can also sell these. And then we shall uh, move off to bed. Uh, but first, I think we'll put the clay and the copper ore and all these little doodads and away. Very cute small house. We can also change the flooring and the wall color. And we can change our bed too uh, once we buy a new cute one. There's so much. There's so much. We can also get like new outfit items too. It's very exciting. Oh, now we have a recipe for making a new lamp. I wonder why we would need that though. It makes me a little scared. I hope our tools are transferable. Like transferable as in like our kids can use the tools that we have. Like we don't have to buy new ones. We'll eat this little bread. That's still going. Okay. And now the axe is back. Hooray. Huzzah. And the turnips are ready. So if I can get that coal and build a new drying rack, this afternoon I should be able to put both these turnips up. And you can see we're getting like a fair amount of seeds. Other things. Ooh, walkable. Walkable. So difficult to do. <laughs> I feel like I'm shitting on Stardew now, but that's not my intention, but it is also at the same time fun. Alright, so we'll need a few more turnip seeds. Just two, which is nice. And we have the water everything as always and we will have to go fishing for that fish that we need I believe we have four more days to do it which is fine I also like how easy like the fact that it keeps track of all of the quests and tasks and all I have to do is like come up with my own uh, farming schedule and everything else is taken care of and I know what I'm getting in return is another big thing. Although Stardew also tells you what you're getting in return and it keeps track of the quests, it's just the fact that it's like right here. That's what I don't know. I'm just having a good time. This also kind of reminds me of like um, the Don't Starve games, except there's no creepy nighttime things to worry about, which for me is ideal. I can't do scary. <laughs> Maybe I should play Don't Starve at one point. There's also Don't Starve Together, which would be fun to play with my siblings. Oh. Oh, I'm stuck on something. Oh my god, I'm stuck on something. I'll have to teleport out of here. That's okay. Ooh, we're totally gonna get that bridge. We're gonna just chop all of the wood until our axe is almost out. Hold on, let me move it to where I can see. There we go. A thousand hours in it? Oh god. And you are way better at than I am, because I have never played it. I only like obsessively watched uh, Let's Plays when I was younger. Weird saying that, because it seems like, it's not that old of a game, but at the same time it is definitely 
that old of a game. around the time of Sims 4, if not before Sims 4. Oh yeah, same with Dead by Daylight. Oh my god! Oh, the new Dead by Daylight boss? Vecna? Being voiced by Matthew Mercer? Light of my life. Joy of my world. Fantastic. I love it. Alright. Where are we going? We're going here. So we can get stuff for the blacksmith. And Dead by Light. Oh my gosh, you have to look at the new um, commercial for it. The trailer? The trailer. <laughs> um, amazing. Amazing. And it, it comes with a new uh, hero character as well. It's all I wanted. Now, again, I have not played Dead by Daylight only watched other people play. I believe one of our mods, uh, Sage, he plays it as well, on stream as well, which is very nice. Yeah, there's really no way I'm gonna eat all of these turnips, so I'm gonna sell like all but five of them. Here we go. Food, onion seeds, pea seeds, wheat seeds, okay. Do this, it's a good game. It's very fun to watch, for sure. At least as somebody who can't do scary on my own, like watching other people play things like Five Nights at Freddy's or Dead by Daylight. They're just the kind of games where you're like, you're really excited about them. They're entertaining. They have just about, just the right amount of suspense and payoff and like fear. Yeah. I, I think that's the same with, like, um, well, actually, for purposes. Um, we were playing uh, Imposter, or whatever the Imposter thing is. I forgot what it is. Oh my god, it's been so long. We, oh, I don't have enough nails? Ah! Damn it. Among Us, yeah. Among Us, it's sort of like, I think it's easier to be the killer in that game. There's no more nails to buy. Like, we have to wait until tomorrow. Shit. Oh, the time is still going. Huh? Alright. I'm gonna eat this bread. Disappointing. Okay, well then tomorrow we can do all of the, um, we can get the nails and then we can head over and deposit the wood. So I think I'll hold off on making anything else until then. Uh, let's spend the afternoon fishing for that one fish that we need. And then, once we end today, I think I'm going to take my little 10 minute break. Just because I have uh, three dreams. <laughs> um, and then we'll come back and we'll, we'll do the bridge repair and everything. Are there any other quests that I need to make sure I do? Okay, this, and then we'll just the recipe. Uh, it's so secondary. Oh yeah, Among Us is stupid fun. Um, I very much made my coworkers uh, 
concerned when I made us play it as like a group of people and I was way too good at lying. I think it freaked them out just a little bit. <laughs> Thank you all. I am quite good. Let me just... Yeah, never knew how good I was at lying at murdering my friends and being able to, like, kill them in cold blood. Oh, he has nails. Perfect. Yay, we don't have to wait. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Ooh, he got nail though. Still have five days to get the one type of fish, too, so... Hurrah! Who knew? I knew. I knew I was good at food. <laughs> I'll be like, I got this in the bag. Why do you look sad? I don't like that. Oh, I don't- I'm not gonna have cloth. French fries and potato seeds. No, thank you. Oh, wait. Hold on, are you the farmer's daughter? Wait, come back. Can I buy seeds off of you? I need two turnip seeds. No! We're gonna do this, then we're gonna teleport over and we're gonna talk to the farmer. Do you have seeds? No. Okay. Then what use are you? You have nothing to sell me. Okay. Oh, ice cream. No. How about the bee? Bridge. Wow, it's only the first three days. <laughs> Bridge repaired. Tis done. Okay, we now have a whole other section of the map to mess around in. There's mermaid. At the moon. Well, she does not have any money. That's hilarious. Oh my god, that's so pretty. We just have coral. And again, no money. And thus, useless. Is that all that's over here? I, for the record, I've never repaired the bridge before. There's gotta be something else. No? Oh. Okay. teleport home. Feeling a little sad. Let's go. Maybe the, I think this is the farmer's house, so we'll buy uh, the two turnip seeds that we need. Oh. Survival salad. Hooray. Look at how cute his house is. Yeah. 
Ooh, he's rich as fuck. Why does he look so much more rich? Who doesn't even have? Rude. Oh, but we could do plums and apricots. Fruit seeds. What can we do to have the ones that are more cherry seeds? Uh, so he's doable. I'm desirable. Plant some trees. Can we take a cherry? Yeah, we'll do two cherry seeds because they're actually kind of necessary. Well, I think plums are required for certain things. Okay. Great. Ugh, alas. Didn't even have the shit that I needed. Very rude. Oh, perfect. Now I can really make a lot of salads. Should probably eat these. Alright. Great. Put this. Because we teleported out of here earlier, so we were blocked in by a weird glitch. Oh, alas, we'll just have to have two less turrets for the next harvest. How terrible. Now let's make a new drying rack. Ugh. Okay, I guess. Wait, one of these instead. No. Did I? Where is it? Okay. <sighs> Ugh. Put the dried fish over here. How long are these turnips gonna last? Okay, they'll be fine. Put the cherry seeds, I'll put that away. Keep everything else inside of here. And then we'll go put this outside. Very irritating to not have the appropriate amount of nails that I wanted. I really need more. And we can move this well anytime, so it's kind of nice. I guess that's what we would also consider quality of life, too. Great. And then we'll put, uh, we'll take a turnip. And we'll put it on the drying rack. There we go. That way, we will have plenty of time. Let's see what's required of the turnip soup, too. Turnip soup. Oh, bread, turnips, and onions. Oh, then we'll absolutely be able to make that in time. Awesome. We're off to a really good start, guys. Like, I really think we're making it. We've already repaired the bridge, which we really didn't need to do for a while. We have plenty of food. Uh, we have pretty good quests. It's really hard. You don't always get those quests. Ooh, a dull bot. Turmeric, garlic, and beans. Ooh. Oh, was I supposed to click on any of these? Okay. Great, now it's daytime. We'll eat one of these. I guess two of these. And we'll get our pickaxe back, which means we can go to the mines today. 
so we could water this. Oh, we were supposed to... Oh, shit. Uh, we were supposed to plant the apricot seeds. So now we'll be... We'll barely have a, a harvest of them before the end of the, the time. Because it's only, I think, only 28 days in that... We do have to water trees as they grow, which is kind of irritating, but whatever. So it talks. Oh my god. Mr. Appreciate you, Max. You want out? Okay. Great, go on. Get out of here, dude. Oh, success, hooray. <laughs> the immediate shock. I know I totally said that I was going to take my 10 minute break. <laughs> I lied. I mean, I might as well just play all the way until the end of our time. Who needs a break? I don't. Not me. Besides, we'll only play for like another hour and a half anyway. So. Yay! 30 years of watering for a few boards of wood. Uh, see, here's the thing. As they're fruit trees. Oh, yeah. Every tree IRL. Yeah, exactly. Constant, constant watering. Okay, that's why the rain is so nice. Yay, perfect. Um, and the other thing is drawing on the rack so we can go into town. I wonder if he has turnip seeds now. Not that I really want them now. I think I'll wait until the next kind of harvest, so. Oh well. Uh, oh, but what did we need to do? Turnip soup. I think we have enough onions. Maybe I'll get some more onions. They are quite necessary. And I don't know how many I have set up, so. It's far gone. Cherry, you don't have anything. You have absolutely nothing. Very rude. Do you have anything? Oh, jeez. Oh, you have sugar. Oh, look, a plum tart. So I guess choosing um, a plum tree was a good idea. Oh, but we have to talk to these guys and get um, the nails that we need. Sir, I want to marry this man. I've married him before and I wish to do it again because one, he's cute. Um, and two, he doesn't have nails today. Shit. What a life. Anyway. <laughs> no nails. Time for divorce. He's useless to me. Ta. Oh, look what else he has, though. So cute. He doesn't have beds yet, which I do need. So I do like the boards and flooring. And the walls are cute. Mm -hmm. 
but kind of pointless to add color to the house that we're hoping to upgrade out of, at least in my opinion. So, oh well, no thank you. Oh. Let's go into the woods, collect some wood out of there, and then um, once we get to the river in the woods, then we will harvest uh, the fish that we need for the quest. A moral. I don't have any, so I definitely need some. Oh, another one. And one of these guys. And one of those guys. Holy cannoli. What are these? Oh my god. We are rolling in it. What is this? A death cat? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, and then a pawpaw. Incredibly delicious. Ooh. Let's sell it. Uh, let's go to the mines. Yes. And then we will fish. Going into the mines. Oh, that's a pickaxe. There we go. Very important. Okay, so mining, fishing, then we'll go buy nails from the blacksmith. Oh, look, it's the blacksmith apprentice. We can do that now. Trade. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Success. Great and wild success. Hopefully he's still here after we go get more... Get your nails done at the blacksmith. Oh, oh my god, I got my nails done yesterday. Big mistake. Uh, terrible. Horrendous. They, like, are all different angles. You can't really see them. Uh, but I used to have, like, really pretty long nails. Uh, I wanted them all shortened because one of them, mostly this pointer finger and this thumb, because I use them so often, um, were super duper short from breaking all the time. Um, from, like, opening cans of soda. <laughs> like the main thing like or opening a, a window it's the two times that I break nails the most um and this man this man cut my nails at like odd angles didn't then file them out and now the application of the gel is so lopsided he didn't even go all the way down to the cuticle either so it only looks like it's grown out uh, and then it's so thick and bumpy in like weird places, it did not level out well at all. And I paid like 50 bucks for that. I mean, obviously if you're chucking 50 bucks, it's not worth a lot. But <laughs> you, if you did nails, no, because you would actually pay attention to uh, what's going on and would probably follow the instructions written on the item. Gel, gel nails have instructions. If you can, if you can code a game, you can do some nails. This man was not receptive to any correction at all. He was also missing a pinky, which I mean, I should have just known. <laughs> so, <laughs> missing a finger above a knuckle, and so uh, yeah, not trustworthy. <laughs> Okay, now let's see if 
he, he's still here so we can sell some stuff to him. We'll sell some quartz and uh, well, we can't sell him clay. Lame. I'm sure he has other stuff, I think. <laughs> I'm surprised I still have all my figures and wheels. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not surprised that most of us have all of our uh, all of our fingers intact. I feel like most people have not betrayed serious folks <laughs> and gotten their their pinkies cut off, okay? <laughs> Can you imagine having that like be part of your life and then you're like, what if I just opened a nail salon <laughs> and did nails? Cooler than me, that's for sure. Alright, let's do the fishing. Yeah. Well, not one arm. <laughs> you, would, you would lose the whole arm that's been before. I mean, you really only need one hand to do it. Ugh, not the shoes. You can't sell these shoes. That's the other thing that irritates me about this game. <laughs> like, there's a few things that make me mad. But I'm like... Just let me sell the shoes, or let me repair the shoes, or something. I should be able to make my own clothes, which I don't think I've gotten to yet. Oh no, I get the migraine. I hope we feel better. And I hope the mac and cheese was delicious. Good night, Abby. Yeah, no screen. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Definitely so difficult. Honestly, I feel like if it was like intentional Alfredo Mac. I'm not like so crucial. <laughs> like if you really tried to balance the flavors and do like Parmesan or like do it from scratch, it would be really good. Pete, <laughs> the resident chef, get on it please. <laughs> Ugh, migraine. Pete the food critic. Pete the actually good at cooking. <laughs> like I've been cooking since I'm I'm ten, but he like actually knows how to cook. Um do I do any cooking? I mean when I have to, if it's either that or starving. Yeah, I <laughs> do some cooking. Um yeah, I, the one thing that I really enjoy making that I'm really good at is um, sweet and sour pineapple salmon. I take sweet and sour sauce, a ton of butter, some soy sauce. You mix it all together with some ginger and garlic. You pour that shit over a filet of salmon uh, that's been salted and peppered naturally. And then you put like slices of pineapple on it and you bake that shit uh, and then braise it for like five minutes at the end. Um, I forget how long it is. I, it's a recipe I got off of online. Um, so I just follow whatever the instructions are for it. Okay, you hear dancing guy? But it, it tends to work. 
It's really good. It's really good for like rice too. Plot shit papers. Don't sell that. Uh, let's find the guy who loves the pike. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. Okay. Yes, it is good. It's not too expensive, though. It's not too bad. I feel like if you get a ton, then yeah, it would be expensive. But if, if you... Ooh, we got kicked out. Shit. Now we have to wait for this guy to come out, I feel like. Um, not too bad. Ribeye is good. I can't cook beef. I, I always make it too dry because I'm worried about undercooking and then I always end up overcooking it. Um, maybe if I really made sure my pan was hot and got like a good crisp on it, I'd feel better. But uh, I just I don't have the confidence. I'll leave air beside of food poisoning to stay. I don't want to get food poisoning. Motherfuckers in here. Ugh, I'm out of your house. I know you have to. Rude. Uh, let's go get some more nails. They should be walked through with poison fruit. <laughs> Gather as much bacteria as possible. And then consume. I'll figure it out eventually. Uh, I need them to repair my attic recently. And then we'll trade and we'll get the rest of his nails. Great success! You're fully nailed up. Ten out of ten. Totally nailed that. I'm so good at this. That little kid is still in that house. Whatever. I'm actually really hungry now. Damn it. Oh, this hasn't finished drying? Okay. Um, we'll create one of you. Oh, excuse me. We'll create one of you. Perfect. And then we'll get one of you. And this will be the basis for everything, is we will just be making a ton of these drying racks and then drying stuff on them, like, like an actual madman. The pickle. There we go. Make another survival salad. Or I guess another two survival salads. Uh, I've fallen into this rock. Okay, five days, so we got time. Alright. Dump off you. I don't know how we're gonna sell this, but I don't think we can. Pop all of this into here. We'll put these in here as well. Okay. Until dawn, and we sleep. Hey. Ooh, we got a new fishing lure recipe. Oh, woke up to a noise outside. Better investigate. First, we'll pick this up and we'll put another turnip on here. Oh, it's Timothy! Wait, it's Timmy! Come back! Let me, let me get my axe real quick. 
Do I have it? Yes, I do. Okay, great. Timmy! Oh, goodness. Oh, my friend. I'm going to follow him. Like Eurydice. Coming out of the cave. Oh, jeez. He walks fast. I wish we could have married you, Timothy. I'm surprised my face isn't more concerned looking. Like, Tibby's is so flat, and mine is like, dee 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 dee. I wonder, hold on. Let's do this. Oh no. Tibby, my, my dear friend. Oh, it's definitely cherry picking day. Oh, he's just leading us across the whole map. <laughs> Timothy, slow down. Oh, God, there he goes. Yes, wait for me. Uh oh. Oh, hello there, dearie. Who the fuck are you? Is there something I can help you with? Yo. There was this guy. Oh, that sounds like quite the story. I am afraid I haven't seen a ghost around here. Though I'm glad you're here, dearie. I'm in need of assistance. Would you be willing to help? Sure, uh-huh. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. A while back, I lost something precious to me, a locket. It is very dear to me. It fell off my neck while I was leaving the lagoon to the west. Hence why we repaired the bridge. If you can fix the bridge and retrieve my locky, uh, locket, I will be very grateful to you. I am sure fixing the bridge will be a simple job for you. Yes. Until then, you can always visit me during my shop hours on Saturdays. Shop hours? Good luck, dearie. Okay. Time to go find this locket. Uh, we'll, we'll look normal again. Sad time is over. The lagoon. I'm glad it didn't like glitch out and reset the bridge because I would have cried. Uh, okay, now we're looking for a locket here. Is there something over here? No. Okay. Uh, hold on a little. There we go. Now we can walk normally. Oh, I'm stuck. Um, oh, a shell. Oh, the locket! Here, I'll give you all of these little trinkets. And I guess a bunch of wood for no reason. Hooray, the locket! Most success. We have it. Now let's get out of here. That would be me. I guess. But now she's over there where we can't get to her because she's only open on Saturdays from 6. Oh. She's open from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. tonight. That's good to know. Alright, let's get back to our house. And let we need to sleep more, so we'll go sleep.
Let's do it until it's over. There we go. We're not super duper rested, but we're pretty rested. Flip these turnips. Oh, perfect. We have exactly five seeds in return. So we'll replant exactly where they were. I'm trying to think of like what a good endpoint for today will be. <laughs> Let's just gonna keep playing. Until I feel like I'm tired. But so far, again, this game is like, it keeps on feeding you quests that are like fairly simple to accomplish. There's a whole year cycle and a whole like day cycle and there's certain things that you have to keep track of. Um, you can really sort of plot out where you want to go. Like, you can really focus on just paying your own food and upgrading your house and having, like, cute clothes and stuff um, or getting, like, married and things um, and not really focusing too much on any of the external quests or anything like that. But it really, really is fun to just exist and be, like, in a little community like this. I think it gives good community vibes. I do want like more dynamic conversations. That's sort of why I've been skipping all of the dialogue is because it, it like kind of gets boring after a while. They they'll say the same things eventually. Um but yeah I really love the 3D 2D fusion as well. I love the little noises. Love the little game sounds. The only complaint I have really is the fishing mini game <laughs> and the fact that I can't sell every single thing that I collect. That's literally it. Everything else is really fun. So all in all, 10 out of 10. Great, great farming survival game. They called it Cozy with Consequences, and I think that that's pretty accurate. It is, it is very cute. Well, there's a ton of rock. Here's the other thing is all of the resources that are generated on the farm are random. Like they're not going to be in the same place every time that you have a playthrough. And so I don't think I've had this much, this many trees and rocks before. It's very nice. It really puts me in like a, a good spot. But also, if you don't have, like, a ton of rocks and everything generated, it's very easy to get anything that you need. You can really, like, focus on farming and just farm and make a ton of money and then just buy everything you need. Um, or you can purchase absolutely nothing from no one and focus entirely on doing it yourself. There are a few things, especially, like, iron ore. Like, you need, you need to buy some stuff to get started in certain things like if you're gonna do furnaces or or like upgrading your own farm even that like you can kind of collect you can make your own glass you don't have to buy glass but you do have to like buy paints to upgrade your house so i guess there's some things that you can't do by yourself but if you wanted to only have to pay for those things you can A lot of wood again. The only thing I don't like is that 
the wood doesn't regenerate in between seasons. So once you're done with all of the, the rocks and stone and clear out all the weeds, they're not coming back. So that's the one thing that I think Stardew Valley is good for as well. You don't have to think too much about the long-term decisions or like how like in Stardew you can pretty much move anything around and things regenerate a lot better. Here it's like it's kind of permanent. Some things are like here forever. You know? And then once again we have to repair everything. Yay! Constant constant repairs. Let's get to the doll's clothing thing. <laughs> nobody nobody hears anything else coming through my mic, right? <laughs> There's a lot of noise. My family just got home from getting groceries, so it's a little a loud downstairs. No, just be perfect, fantastic. Like most of my family members are home. Um my brother, I think, is the only one from my immediate family who does not live in the house right now because everybody else is, like, between jobs or freshly graduated. It's hard. It's hard to manage this many people. Ah, perfect. Turn your quest. Oh. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Uh, what can I get from you? <gasps> Look at these. They're cute. Oh, I can dye things different colors, too. And there's this hair. I like this hair. And this hat is cute, too. I want to put this hat on me, so I guess I will tailor myself. Yeah, it's like the... <laughs> I guess. I guess, I suppose. What does this look like? Or this? No, I don't like either of these. I do like this, though. And it's free, so... Ooh. Okay, perfect! We did that. All set. Um, what about our other quests? We need one more of those, and then we need some onions. We need onions, just period. End of. I don't know how we're gonna get that, though. Okay. Last locket. And that's the last thing that we have to do today. Have they ever forgotten you on the trip? No. They have forgotten me at school afterwards, though. Because I used to be in theater, so during, like, tech, we would work really late. And I'd just be sort of sitting there. Just sort of sitting there waiting. Oh, uh, we'll take those. I think we're making cabbage right now. It's fine. It, like, all of us have, have had it happen. There's a ton of us kids. It's not a big deal. <laughs> I'm not conflicted about it. Um, gold ore. Can we get coin and blue iron fence? No, fuck that. Uh, I'm gonna get that. Oh, that's it. Oh, I'll trade, and then we'll get some more nails. We'll sell that. Sell a bunch of wood for it. Give me some extra stone for it. There we go. That'll do it for me. I think we could get another drying rack though. Or we could get another um, Fermentation jar. Ah, cherries. I think 
uh, after we turned in the locket tonight, I'm going to call it for the day. I feel like that's a good stopping point. So we'll mess around until the 6 p.m. mark. Go talk to the old witch lady. Um, oh, what do you need? What, what do you have? Do you have something? Oh, what did I need to trade you? Oh, is it the it's the food? Okay. Either the turnip soup or just straight up onions, which should be ready soon. I feel like we planted quite a few. They should be ready. I'll definitely prioritize um, uh, what do you have? Ivy trellis. Yeah, I think I'll prioritize the turnip soup over anything else. Oh, we're sleepy. Uh-oh. That's not good. Look at us, we're so tired. And we have to continue to be tired. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, we can really catch some good stuff here, then. That's exciting. Ugh, the boots. I don't want the boots. Look at our little eye bags. We're so sad. Ooh, coral. Nice. I haven't seen that before. Hopefully that sells for a good bit. But I doubt it because the mermaids have no money. The mermaids are penniless. <gasps> Mermaids seek them out. Oh. I wonder why. One, two, three. Oh, what's that? A salmon. Oh, yeah. Oh, we'll need those eventually. For sure, for sure. What do you want? What can I give you that you'll take from me? <laughs> Ugh, lame. Okay. I guess they don't actually seek them out. I guess they don't want them at all. Maybe we'll trade wood. Wow, okay, but that's actually pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Is there nothing? Okay, maybe that. And that? No. Even that's too much for the. <laughs> ah, damn it. Ugh. Damn broke mermaids. They like me for real. Well, we're walking so slow and sad. Oh. Okay, we should get there around the time that it opens for us. Where we can give her her necklace. We'll eat this in the meantime. I'll shake this tree in the meantime. <laughs> Hooray! Oh. Oh. oh, there she is. Perfect. Turn in quest. Ooh, thank you for returning my precious locket. It is the only thing I have left of my sister. Oh. It is hard to bring up her eye. Well, it doesn't matter anymore. 
What has happened has already come to pass. Aww. Now that I know you can be trusted, I have I have something to show you. Behind this door, I must mention it is of great importance this stays between you and me. The others, I feel, will, fear will never understand what I am about to show you. Have an open mind. Our world is deeper connected than you know. There is much about it we know so little about. Now, dearie, follow me. She's a witch! Burn her! I wonder if we can get caught and accused of being a witch in this game. I haven't explored this part at all before. <laughs> Grandma got a BDSM touch. <laughs> yeah, she's keep an open mind, dearie. <laughs> now, dearie, this uh, staircase behind me will grant you access to a place I am no longer allowed to enter. After our, my mistake, I, I can no longer help those below. Curly, what did you do? But you can, only you can help those poor fellows below, for I was not worthy. Now, dearie, just head down these stairs. Someone has been waiting for you to arrive for some time now. Come find me afterwards. My potion room is just through this door opening, this opening here. <laughs> I am usually hard at work making potions to help those in the village, and I would love to show you my craft. I think you will find my skills very useful, especially having to run that farm of yours. Quickly now, dearie. Uh, we shouldn't keep our friends waiting. Don't better go down the stairs before going in here. Better go down the stairs. Go down the stairs. Should I turn on? I feel like that's necessary. We're burning oil. Like, actually burning oil. Like, seriously. Oh. Sticky. <gasps> Timothy! At last, I knew you would come. Once I knew you were alive, I set out to find you. I knew you were the only one who would understand. Oh, so many perished along with me in that dreadful storm. So many lives forever changed. But you, you survived. I couldn't be happier seeing you stand here before me. So I wish to hear about your life on the, on the surface, but I brought you here for a reason. There is something I need to show you. Follow me. Is th this is our community center? This is kind of creepy, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't expect this to get a horror flavor. As you can see, none of us are able to pass on, for we are stuck here. Long ago, it was broken and the portal shattered. Astra won't tell us how it happened. Astra? Oh, the witch upstairs? Uh, I can only assume it brings her great sadness to remember. No one is safe from this curse. Everyone who dies up above can never leave. All of us are eternally locked in this broken limbo. Forever to remain, only you can save us. <gasps> if you can fulfill the requirements written on the pillars, we will be free. All you have to do is complete each task on the pillars to heal the grove and release us. We can put them in the kill farm. Fear not, for I shall remain here to assist you along the way, if you have any questions. I have great faith in you, my friend. I knew that finding you is our only hope for salvation. Now, make haste. Complete the tasks and save us all. I will be awaiting your return. Good luck, my friend. Beyond the grave, discover the limbo world. Oh, wow. Quite a bit to do down here. So we need uh, donated to a 30 crop star. Oh, so we need gold star crops and gold star animal products. So we need gold star fish and a ton of lobsters for no reason. So we need crafted resources and crafted placeables. Oh. 
Rudy Gold Star Forgeables, and 10 Gold Ore. That's a lot of money. Then 20 Gold Star Meals. And we need to learn all like 50 recipes. And gifted 0 30 Gold Star Medals. Gold, oh, we need to gift Gold Star Meals to different villagers. To 30 different villagers. That's a lot. Make 10 friends. Get married. Complete 10 of 30 quests. Well, this will probably be the easiest one. <laughs> That's a lot to do. You're asking a lot of me, buddy. Okay. Uh, what do I need to do now? Right, we'll get home. We're super duper tired. Look at us. So sleepy. Um, we need to get our plant suit. We'll do the rest of the goals tomorrow. Um, we'll just need to pick up um, some of the stuff that's on the drying racks tonight. But neat. We also need the turnips that we have on us right now, so also at the same time we can't put anything back on there. But you look at the preserves with the- oh, we can do the cherries. Let's preserve the cherries. And make some jam. There we go. Okay, that makes me feel better. Uh, oh, and then with like higher quality goods, instead of them rotting right away, they, they lose a star. So the higher quality goods last longer, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, these two will really fetch us a good price tomorrow. So that's exciting. Uh, but yeah, we'll sleep. We'll sleep until rested. That's very required. Ooh, chanterelle soup. Ooh. And then we also learned flour mill. Oh, that's good. We need to make a flour mill immediately. That'll be the basis of everything, pretty much. Okay. We'll save our game. Okay. <laughs> Yay! We finished our first day back off of hiatus, guys. I'm really excited. Uh, I'm also really excited for Saturday. That's all we're gonna do today. I just I should end should end the game first. All right, <laughs> but that's all that's all we're gonna do today. I'm so glad I'm back. I really am. Streaming makes me so happy. I can't even express to you. It's like it's like finally finding what I actually want to do with my life. <laughs> But I don't want to, like, get weirdly corporate about it off the bat. I'd rather have, like, some time to enjoy it before weird, like, ad stuff and revenue stuff needs to be paid attention to. I'd rather focus on just, like, playing games and having fun and making my setup around you, like, cool and fun to watch. Um, so my goal is not, not to actually make this my whole life's work yeah just having fun and see what happens if, if people want to want to follow me if you haven't if you're new here and you haven't followed me we're four away from our 20 follow goal i don't know what we'll do for the 20 followers um but if you if you want to that's cool um because that just helps me do more stuff getting to 50 followers on twitch is just going to let me like give you guys three emojis to play around with and and just helps me like maybe pay for a few background stuff things that I need to pay for um, apps and ads and, and things um, that's all I'm really focusing on but Saturday at 10 p.m. until 1 a.m. on Sunday which is my birthday birthday stream we will also start uh, <laughs> you can see all the weird angles I'm telling you they're weird they're bad they're really bad, like, give me a month and I will fix it, but <laughs> my birthday's coming up every 28th. I'm so excited. We're going to start year two of Stardew on that day. If you cannot stay up that late, totally fine. It will be posted um, two days later um, on on my YouTube. So if if you're very excited for our Stardew playthrough, play you're ready for year two to begin, Come join us. I'll just wait for the YouTube VOD to be out. Um, 
but we will be playing a long time. I want to make sure that our streams with Stardew the next two weeks are really long so that we can get through maybe even like half a year or a whole other year. We'll be playing pretty late on the days that we have, especially Saturday because I want to do it earlier in the day. I don't want all of my Saturday streams like next week after my birthday to be 10 p.m. I'd rather we start at like noon and then just go for a while. Um, but yeah, that's all I have. I'm really excited. I will see you guys on Thursday where we will resume this game and we will focus on our character getting married and upgrading our house. But yeah, I'll see you later. Uh, bye!